Chats. It's episode number three. We made a short trip up to Bloomer, hanging out with Josh at Bohemian Ovens, bakery and restaurant. You guys have everything here. Well, we do it all. We uh, try and serve the community as best we can here and everywhere else now. We're really getting into the, the wholesale mm -hmm. area of the world, and uh, we have some great accounts and great people that we've, we've been meeting through that. Um, I, I, I would love to list off a few. Go for it. Absolutely. So, I mean... Take notes. Yeah. Notes are taken here. All right. So, in the Eau Claire area, we have our one of our coffee shops down there, Kavi Coffee. Mm -hmm. They were new this last fall, actually, and so they have been great, and they, they do a wonderful job down there. Um, some more down there. Uh, we have five and two, which is really close to that same spot in Eau Claire. Mm -hmm. But then we also have just local, which is more in the downtown area, and that's right. a grocery store down there. And we've been serving our food, our bread down there for a very long time now, and they they just do a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. um, then we have uh, 430 Coffee, which is our Chippewa one. That one's our our newest one. It's really exciting. It's been wonderful working with those ladies mm -hmm. and. We're, we're just as excited. It's only been a week now, but oh. they, they were crushing it. They, they took their first order, and they're a little tentative, but then they sold out in like two days. And nice. so, holy cow, people in the area, I think, are, are pretty happy that the Kalachi's in their, their, their country now, their, their area, yeah. instead of having to drive all the way to Bloomer. And, I, and the Kalachi, I was told, is, is to die for. And actually, I, I don't want to threaten sounds so strong. But I was leaving to come up here to shoot this, and my girlfriend said, if you don't come back with some kolache, don't come back. And I thought she was joking, but she wasn't. So there is, there is some mystifying magic behind these kolache. Tell me, you guys have so many different kinds as well. Holy moly. That, that is something that we do carry a lot of. Mm. We actually just added a brand new freezer up front here that can get us through the week finally. It carries 800 <laughs> kolaches in there. Oof. And that... We, we cleared out a good portion of it last weekend with everybody coming up north. But, yeah, we, we have our, our savories. So the bacon, egg, and cheese, ham, egg, and cheese, sausage, and egg. And then we also have more of the lunch variety with the new, newest addition to it, meatball, which is, oh, man, it's like a spaghetti dinner nice. all by itself. It's fantastic. Um, smoked Gouda mac and cheese, ham, Swiss, and onion. Those savories, yeah. They're man. staples at the farmer's market here, anywhere, really. Uh, the new this year is our fruit kolache. Ta-da! It's, uh, it's, it's our rendition of the fruit kolache. It's very different from the traditional dollop on top. Mm. We do the same system where we fill the bun and put a little bit of glaze on top, and holy smokes, are they good. They're just like a filled, filled donut hole. Oof, it looked delicious. And I, and I walked in, and they had a table full of stuff set up uh, that we have right here. And it was maybe one of the most difficult things not to just reach over and grab one so I, I, I fought the I fought the uh, desire to uh, to get one and you did talk about people traveling up north fishing opener springtime is here obviously Chippewa County is wide open for business uh, but people are coming up how can they find you like uh, get, get them to your front door and then I mean they might never leave as I might not absolutely 905 Martin Road we're here uh, yeah fishing opener everybody's mm -hmm. been coming up for uh, for all the events cabins man it's mm. that it's that time of year where you get up to your cabin you start brushing stuff off and you get exhausted cleaning and mowing and doing that and so they come in for breakfast then fishing opener feel free to swing by grab a coffee and a kolache mm. and we'll feed you then That's you can perfect. get out onto the water earlier uh I love it. what else is going on uh the brewery our next door neighbor mm. they're uh they're doing so many different events they're a wonderful place since we kind of closed down at noon that's when those guys open up and they really open up that second half of the world mm -hmm. in, in, in Bloomer here. And they have a beautiful patio. They took that time during the, right. the shutdown to really boost their, what they have to offer. So they have a beautiful new patio this year. And their, oh, their new facility is to die for. It's, it's fantastic. And so, yeah, they're serving pizzas up there nice. all night. All of their, their cold craft uh, are pizzas, actually. We, nice. we serve them up there, and then they make them up for everybody. But they do their cold craft uh, brew, mm. and they just do a wonderful job up there. Yeah. Right. Now, you could make a whole day or weekend out of coming up to Bloomer. You could stop here, you go to the brewery, the shops downtown. I mean, this is truly a destination location. Absolutely. If you're looking for a place to get away, enjoy the countryside, fishing, hunting, anything, uh, it's, it's one of those where you can swing into town when mm -hmm. you're feeling a little bit too countryed out and uh, get some civilization back in you. 
before you head back out to the waters or the campgrounds or wherever you're at. You mentioned pizza. Like, what other things besides, I see the, the array of, of tasty things here. Like, what are, what are some of your favorite things on your menu that people need to come up and try besides, obviously, kolache, which we've, we've talked about once or twice, three times? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, as uh, along with being a bakery, we are a restaurant as mm -hmm. well. And so, we take a lot of the same stuff that we, our breads, our, our other items, and we, mm -hmm. we use them in our kitchen. And one of yes. our highlighted items is our caramel apple French toast. And that Oof. one is to die for. It mm -hmm. is so good. And then you can always grab a loaf of caramel apple on your way out if you want to make it at home for everybody else too. But we have caramel apple French toast and then oatmeal pancakes, mm. caramel, caramel, apple, ah, no, <laughs> banana caramel oatmeal waffle. Oof, Holy man. smokes, that one's a fantastic one to eat. But those are some of, those are some of our highlighted restaurant mm. items along with just local meats. We, we really do a, a good job of like, being able to buy from Shaddix Price, mm. right, which is one of our neighbors, a grocery store that right. also has a meat market there. Uh, we buy all of their sausage there, and they do a wonderful job there. Bob's Processing, another local meat producer, mm. they have just the best bacon in the area, Oof. and that's one of those items that we serve both in Kalachi and in the restaurants. That's amazing, and I tell you what, you can't smell what it smells like in here, but this is going to be my new smell. This is just my new scent. I'm gonna smell like Bohemian Ovens Bakery and Restaurant now because it's amazing. I know it's video and it's audio, you can't smell it. So you need to come up here and, uh, and take a whiff for yourself, get something to eat, get stuff to go. I know you guys do the farmer's market every weekend, so you're, you're all over the place and ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're really doing a good job. We're trying to get out to the area, not mm. just here in Bloomer, but Chippewa, Eau Claire, Colfax. We have wholesalers there. North of us, up in Hayward, we have a golf course up there that we serve our mm. food at now. and. Yeah, we're, we're really trying to reach out to the other business owners in the area and, and provide them with easy food that's well made to serve to their people as well. Awesome. Josh, we need to dig into some of this stuff. But thank you for the time and the conversation, man. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Chip a chat. Sorry, where are we going to start? Start over there. Right?